Hi guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Grammarly. So it's a really fast, easy thing that checks your grammar, spelling and punctuation all in the same time. So yeah, there's more than, there's 3 million people that use Grammarly and have it installed. And I find it a really helpful tool if you don't have your teacher or someone checking constantly at all your work, which I'm pretty sure you don't. So yeah. Um, yeah, so you just click on the first one that comes up usually and click Active Chrome. So it'll come up with this question asking you if you want to add an extension and you do because that's that's the Chrome extension so you're going to press add extension. Just wait a bit. So it's added to Chrome. Okay. So you just want to put your name, your email which would be your school email and then your password and what best describes you? So that would be a student native speaker. It's just asking you if you speak English. Really. So you just want to press continue with your free account. I'm just going to press let's go. Yay. So this is just a little tour thing that you can read, but I don't really need to read it, it just shows you what to do. Yay, yeah, now you've installed Grammarly and it's up here on your Chrome, but you don't have the tab yet. So to get that little tab thing, you can just press the little star up here. It just saves the website. And since you know the symbol for Grammarly, you don't really need the word Grammarly there. So you just press finish. And there it is. Move it down over here. It's wherever you want to put it along here. Make it look pretty if you want. Now you have um, Grammarly quick and easy, but it doesn't really work on all your computer websites. So it doesn't really it doesn't work on Google Drive, which is kind of annoying. But you can fix it quite easily. You can just select what you want. Usually you'd select the whole document, but I can't be bothered right now. So you just go Command C to copy it, and over here and Click new, then just command V that you just got, and it'll come up with all your stuff. So what I have was taken now. V stopped. Yep. See? So when you finished editing your work, you just command C all of it and go into your thing and it'll already be um highlighted, so you just go command V and voila! It's done. So if you click on mail and you just, um, you're writing anything on mail, it works. So you can tell when it's working on a website if it's got this little Grammarly thing up here. So you can either click on it, the word that's underlined wrong, so that would be in this. Or, see how it's checking again? Or you can click on that and it makes it nice and big. So you can go, hi Mrs. Short, I... So this confused word. So yeah, you just got to read what it's right from doing so. Yeah. And after you finish that, you just press this little button, go back to mail, and boom. Done. That's how you install Grammarly for your spelling, punctuation, and grammar mistakes. I find it a really helpful tool, so I hope you do too.